The consequences of the temporary ban on foreign nationals traveling to the U.S. directly from seven majority Muslim countries has produced more placard-waving protests in America. This is what democracy looks like! And the blast radius of that executive order is global. Questions to the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister facing questions from Jeremy Corbyn over whether she knew about Donald Trump's executive order when the two met at the White House. If he's asking me whether I had advance notice of the ban on refugees, the answer is no. If he's asking if I had advance notice of the travel restrictions, the answer is we all did, because President Trump said he was going to do this in his election campaign. But Labour kept up the attack, suggesting the offer to the new president of a state visit was more about a post-Brexit trade deal than the special relationship. He's praised the use of torture. He's incited hatred against Muslims. He's directly attacked women's rights. Just what more does the President Trump have to do before the Prime Minister will listen to the 1.8 million people who've already called for his state visit invitation to be withdrawn? Back at the States, Donald Trump was leading a stout defence of his policy, again taking to Twitter. Everybody is arguing whether or not it is a ban. Call it what you want. It is about keeping bad people with bad intentions out of country. But justification of the extreme vetting and restrictions on refugees has not gone down well in Brussels, where there was a special debate at a plenary session of the European Parliament. When you ban something, when you build a wall, uh, you might have the feeling that you're more secure, uh, but you're actually uh, building walls all around you, uh, preventing yourself from many opportunities. That brought Trump's pinstripe cheerleader to his feet, as Labour MEP Seb Dance creatively disagreed. To propose legislation. As the sign was removed by a parliament clerk, Nigel Farage sharpened his attack. Trump is motivated by protecting the United States of America from Islamic terrorism. But a consequence of Theresa May's hands-on diplomacy with Donald Trump means when the mud flies in Washington, the Prime Minister will get spattered. The state visit, which will happen within months, carries inherent political risks. Robert Nisbet, Sky News, Westminster.